What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Renegade, man. It's literally like 3 a.m. I've been up since 12. I've been, you know, doing a couple things and, you know, posting here and there. But I'm doing a trail review. I have recently went to a little fun trail. I'm not gonna lie, I will return. I would say 12 miles approximately um, the trail. That's how long. I didn't uh, explore the other side of like the main road but where the parking and where you start at, uh, I, think it's, I think it's approximately like 10 miles. You cannot have a four wheeler over 50 inches. It's pretty a uh, pretty narrow trail. And it got a little mud holes, but nothing too crazy. 10 out of 10, I will recommend. So the trail, only thing I was worried about was the trail itself with the two trees that I came across. So main, maintenance wise or being maintained is a uh, eight out of 10. Overall, the scenery is beautiful. It was a beautiful scenery. Um, I know I might end up going back out there uh, just to chill. So that might be off camera, I don't know. But it's really good for dirt bikes. I know uh, people out there mainly had dirt bikes. I've seen some quads out there. And yes, the k and Renegade has dominated that. It was like really fun, it really was. I had to get used to it at first, but the second round, I was just, you know, ripping through it. Tight corners. Um, uh, good parking, uh, $5, uh, I guess per rider, if I'm mistaken, uh, in cash, uh, something very simple. All right. So guys, uh, they, the days they open is, uh, from Monday through Sunday. Uh, the time, uh, frame is 9 a.m. Uh, to 8 p.m., which is not bad. That's like plenty of hours, uh, to enjoy the whole park. And before you go, man, make sure you call before you haul. Um, you don't want to take your bike up somewhere so far and um, you can't ride. It's just like with the North uh, Charleston uh, Loop. I was going to go there, but good thing I called. Um, but the North Loop is closed because some seasoning thing uh, going on. I could have did the South Loop again, um, but it is what it is. So if you want to take your family out there, y'all got like little quads and stuff. Uh, it would be like a good, uh, really uh, dope spot. They did have picnic tables. They do have uh, the vaulted uh, restrooms. Um, so they do have things out there. Uh, if you wanted to, you know, chill, have a picnic or something like that, uh, which is uh, pretty cool and all. I think next time I might bring a grill or something, <laughs> just to grill and then just uh, eat it. I think that would be uh, pretty cool. And yeah, that's just pretty much it. I mean, I would recommend it. Just go out there. You can, everybody uh, experience uh, with things are different. Um, just based off the reviews, it got about like 4.6 stars. Um, I'll give them a 4.6 star that's uh, around the ballpark. So I did the, I forgot the loop call, but I did it uh, twice. I know they have the main road. I know they have other trails uh, that I want to look into. I've seen pictures where they had a tower and it looked like they had a... So guys, this is the part I didn't see. Um, it might be on like the other trail. Like I said, it had like a main road and it had other trails. So I might need to go back and uh, check it out. But it's uh, pretty much it. Not too crazy. Based off their website, they are open up year round, depending on if they have like any catastrophic uh, weather, which will probably prevent that. And also they have a uh, rifle deer season, uh, say avoid trails uh, use during the first two weeks of deer season. Um, wonder what else they might have. Then that's pretty much it, I'm not sure. And a good thing about these uh, HOV um trails um they website they give you like alerts and warnings as y'all can see i might look into these right here right after this video so y'all probably gonna see this like in the morning it is uh 3 a.m as y'all can see but anyway that's uh pretty much it uh also stay tuned i got my 
AR-15. I need it clean. Uh, stay tuned for another trail riding video. And I'm probably gonna do like other videos I'm planning on doing. Um, so, I mean, I had some folks that liked it. So I think I'm gonna just go back um, doing that. I wanna be consistent uh, mainly, but mainly for the trails and possibly mud parks down the road uh, to where I go to. So we'll never know, time will tell. Uh, but other than that, see y'all. Have a blessed morning when y'all see this uh, afternoon, night, or whenever. Um, like I said, I might try to ride this, this Sunday. I might try to ride if that trail um, not closed. If it is closed, I might ride um, down the road to give y'all like an epic uh, POV. I'm gonna have to call myself Mr. POV. I'm gonna have to just start doing POVs uh, with the Renegade. And that's just pretty much it. So I'm gonna quit all the talking and I think that's pretty much it, man. Have a blessed day, man. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe, let's grow. And you know, if you already subscribed, I appreciate you. Make sure to share uh, to your friends and stuff. Amen, go out there and ride. Um, go uh, to these trails, they very peaceful. They really very peaceful. Um, it can take your mind off a lot of things. Um, I'll tell you that. Especially if you want to like just get away from little things and stuff, just do, go ahead and do it. But I like doing it because I really enjoy doing it. And, and like I said, it's really peaceful, especially with uh, nature and all that. And I'm surprised the Renegade had uh, did pretty good. But I did forget though. I need to check my coolant. I gotta make sure I got coolant in there. I make sure I don't got no leak or none. Cause I did put like two bottles in there and it was empty again. So I just gotta make sure I stay on tops on that. Uh, and stay for a little improvements uh, on the uh, Renegade. That's just pretty much it. So, have a good one.